This is a test, only a test. Okay, so I thought I would do kind of a director's cut sort of talk over the video just for a remembrance kind of thing later on when I want to try and remember the day when I can't remember shit like I can remember shit now. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do here. And it's going to be kind of not completely in sequence, but uh, anyway, it's... It was like, the, it is like uh, the 19th of February 2017 and it was like like a spring day today. It was in the 50s and it was super nice and the wind was really low, which, you know, obviously that was the only reason I even attempted this. And I should have got up earlier, I could have got even more stuff because it was calmer earlier. Anyway, so little bit of a breeze but you know you'll see what I could handle and what I couldn't <laughs> anyway so we'll go on from there okay so anyway this first I got up decided to give this a shot I've been thinking about it for a while found my way back here grand shoot and I was like am I even gonna get close to any of these things but sure enough you could pull up right underneath the dang thing and I was kind of surprised about the the breakup. I thought the, I thought it'd be a lot clearer, uh, but uh, I also have just the two um, the globy ones. I can't think of the name right now for the antennas, and not a directional. And uh, I think the globy ones have less straight above you if it's straight up so I bent one over later in the day I don't know if that didn't seem to help but I bent one over thinking I get better reception but anyway I loved how this music like kind of fell at the same time I was falling it was so perfect and I was really nervous <laughs> too I remember I was shaking that yeah. was it okay on the next one so then I thought well I'm going to just start it's nice. I'm going to start go all the way to Kakana. Oops, I gave it away. Go all the way to Kakana. And and everything everything went down and this one I couldn't find for a while this was a little weird because I had to search for quite a bit and I finally we'll found it and then we're gonna back all the way up to the end of the day racing to get to Nina oh my god and I thought well I'm just gonna go straight up take the best I can come back I thought maybe just a little bit and I was like I gotta get this thing back and all of a sudden bang gone it was gone and uh, all I remember is the tracks and I thought I was way further back and I searched and searched and then I, two guys came walking up there was a train going back and forth and back and forth yeah on the tracks so anyway two guys came up and uh, and I thought I was going to get yelled at and I was like you know what you're looking for and I said I lost my little drone it's about the size of my hand I said I, I think it's gone and the guy that was a little further back he like opens up his palm he goes you looking for this <laughs> I was like are you kidding I was looking for like literally 20-30 minutes and I was about to give up it was getting too dark and uh, so no. Uh, so they were all really cool about it, and I showed them, you know, my couple of videos that I was making for the day, and they thought it was really neat. But 
I was freezing. I only had a t-shirt on. I had to get going. So, what? A, I mean, I can't even believe I found it. And I wished I'd even asked those guys if I could give them some money, and they were cool with it. And they were just like, "No way, man! That's neat. We just we're just trying to burn our last two hours of work." So anyway, that was pretty cool. And we missed Manasha, but anyway, um, Manasha was a little tight getting in there, and I almost landed on a tree on a a semi. So this one going back to where I first bought a house, boom, and Kayla went to school, and for you, those of you out of the area, the Kakana cheese you may have heard of, anyway, so uh, this was my first thought, I was coming by here one day, uh, my first thought about doing this was about a month ago and it was kind of a nice sunny day and it was a little wind and I was like I should whoop I should whoop that water tower it's like perfect around here and then today it just like blew up I went crazy water tower whooping so woohoo and these are going to be this is just going to be the long cut here um, got to trim this down to a I hate even going two minutes. I know, I swear, you guys, right? I can't, two minutes is long. I don't want to put you guys out, anybody listening to this out more than two minutes. It's a lot. And then here we are, Kimberly. And Kimberly, I have, this is where I went to high school. So, but I got to say, they had two water towers right here, and they were both filthy. What the hell, Kimberly? Clean your water towers. They're rusty and ugly looking. Man did you see Manash's brand new spanking paint job? Kimberly, there. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. So, anyway. There was, it was fenced in too, but it was kind of an opening. I, I know I wasn't supposed to be like... I wasn't on any property. I didn't think I was supposed to be. But anyway, it came down. Got it. And shortened that one. Oh, and here we are. Yay! Darboy USA, baby! And this is where I grew up. This is where I was born. This is right next to Appleton on the east side. Used to be more cows than people in this town, <laughs> we would say. So, obviously, I kept this whole thing in for a long time. I was trying to get like that glare. I remember. The sun was like making that glare hole right there, so I started moving this way, and I didn't feel like I was moving at all, but I did back up a little bit. And I started losing it. And then I thought, hey, I think I got one of my good batteries in there. Let's just take another ride up. And there's Darwin right behind it, actually. I used to live right over there, behind the A. Buddy lived right down there, Greg. And I thought, oh my god, don't hit a car. And I was dead. Whoa, that was a close call. That was a close call, like Sean said. So it was kind of, it was really fun. I mean, I just would pull up to these places and set up camp nobody knew where I was or nobody knew what I was doing if anybody drove by I thought nobody's gonna know what the hell I'm doing so anyway I just thought I would end with this because you know it's the big city of Appleton haha <laughs> I wish they could let, I wish I could just leave this music in the background and nobody would know about it or care. Who cares? God. Anyway, that was a pretty good shot right there. And I was worried too a little bit. There was, this was fenced too uh, behind it on the side of it, not in front of it. You can just walk up all these, you can just walk up to touch. You know, it wasn't like I was, you know, it wasn't, I didn't think I was on any bad property. Maybe trucking company or something I don't know who they were but I wasn't on like any signs that said no public I turned around so 
Again, I thought, I got a good battery, let's take another trip. Pressing my luck. And then there's, that's Tars Darboy. That's Tars Appleton. That's Appleton. This is me coming down again. It's so weird how it be oh, in this like vortexy thing, and there it ends. And uh, I missed my landing on this one. Yeah. So it's just weird how it would just come down, and then it would hit, and then level off, and then I'd get some power back. So it was whatever science is going on there, but it's kind of fun. Anyway. That's it. That's my movie. Bye.